I actually meant to make this video a little while ago. This is for the Free Hunter. I got it in December of 2021 and it is now March of 2022. So I've gotten to use it a little bit, or at least my wife has. Um, we've gotten to, to run around in the snow a little bit and uh, get to know this bike a little more. So far, I've been really impressed with it. The quality of work on this bike, you'll notice the wires are a whole lot tighter. Everything is a lot smoother. The paint job is just a whole lot better. Almost everything about this bike is just a little bit more than the Warthog MD1000 that we got, the Biconic bike. For me, it's all about the little things. Even this little back rack, it has a nice little spring right here so you could hold things down on it. It's a whole lot smoother and just nicer. Um, on the Biconic MD1000, it's there, it's nice, it's sturdy, it does its role, but on the Frey Hunter, it's a whole lot better. It has this little chain guard right here, which allows it not to slip out. Everything's nice and smooth on it. The reason why I point this out is the Biconic bike does not have a chain guard, and I, I've had the chain fall off a half a dozen times. It also came shipped to me, not on the bike, so I had all these chips and cracks on the frame itself, which you can see right there. And again, I love this bike. The Warthog is awesome. It's just a little different. The Frey Hunter, I mean, you can see all the cabling is just out there. You can see a little bit of that damage we were talking about. Um, it's just a little bit different. Another thing that I pointed out in the other video is that I was not able to change my wheel size or the speed limit on the Biconic bike. So on the Warthog MD1000, you cannot change your wheel size or speed limit. So for this bike, you can change your wheel size and your speed limit right here in this settings. Being able to do this will allow you to switch between class one and class three easier and more effective if you needed to do that. What it really comes down to is whether or not you need the dual battery. It's because both bikes, with everything being equal, I would pick the Free Hunter hands down. It's just a better bike altogether. However, because I'm a bigger guy and I need the extra battery power, I mostly ride the MD1000, the Warthog. And my wife, she's the one who um, rides the Freight Hunter. I do have to point out the downside of the Freight Hunter. I ordered the Freight Hunter and the MD1000 in March of 2021. I got the Warthog approximately around July of 2021, and I did not get my Freight Hunter until December, around December 18th of 2021. So it just took a lot longer for it to get to me. And if you're patient, then so be it. It's a, it's a great bike. It was well worth the wait, but it did take a long time to get to us. If you want a better detailed breakdown, go ahead and check out my other YouTube video.